Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Dr. W. R. Karluki, the lone NPP Rajya Sabha MP from Meghalaya, lodged a complaint against a YouTuber for alleged corruption in the implementation of the Members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme. Speaking to the press on Thursday, Karluki stated that he is open to any type of probe and would resign as MP if any wrongdoing was discovered in the implementation of his MP proposal. Karluki stated that the allegation comes when he is about to retire from politics. The Border Security Force or the BSF on Thursday alleged that they were attacked by local villagers at Kuliang along the Indo-Bangla border in East Jaintia Hills to give safe passage to Bangladeshi smugglers even as it has decided to lodge a protest note with the Border Guard Bangladesh on the matter. The incident took place on Wednesday when a group of 30 to 35 Bangladeshi smugglers infiltrated into Indian territory through the unfenced area of Border Outpost or BOP Kuliang under the jurisdiction of 172 battalion BSF. The aim of the intruders was to receive sugar consignments from Indian smugglers of Kuliang, a statement issued by the BSF said. Assam continues to suffer from floods with about 3 lakh people hit by the second destructive wave of the season even as rains continue to fall across the northeastern area. At least 35 people have died as a result of the annual floods, landslides and storms with Cyclone Ramal causing significant damage prior. Karim Ganj is currently the most severely hit district with about 2.5 lakh people affected by the calamity. The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has issued heavy rainfall warnings for northeastern states, including Assam and its neighbours. A cyclonic circulation above northeast Assam, along with strong winds from the Bay of Bengal, is predicted to bring heavy rains and severe weather in the following days. Over the next five days, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and sub-Himalayan West Bengal are expected to receive light to moderate rainfall. The IMD has issued a caution for isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall across sub-Himalayan West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh until June 21. The BJP government, headed by Pema Khandu on Thursday, received support from National People's Party or NPP MLAs in Arunachal Pradesh. Thangwang Wangham, the president of the NPP in Arunachal Pradesh, and four other party MLAs wrote to Khandu to express their support for his government. The Government Railway Police GRP and the Railway Protection Force RPF successfully apprehended a drug peddler at Agartala Railway Station. The suspect was apprehended with 41 kilograms of dried cannabis hidden in a trolley bag trying to transport it from Agartala to Selchar by train. According to officials, the accused Rahul Day is 25 years old and lives in Tablabari, Sonatala, Puran Bazar, near Kowai Police Station in Tripura's Kowai District. Assam's Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption arrested Janana Ranjan Das, AFS, DFO, Social Forestry, Golaghat after he took rupees 30,000 bribe at his official residence in Golaghat. According to the complainant, the bribe was used to avoid cancelling a work order. Tripura's chess prodigy Aradhya Das brought honours to the state as one of the Indian medalists at the Asian Youth Chess Championships 2024 in Kazakhstan. The third-seeded player defeated Miliana Filipova of the host country to win one of India's eight medals in the championship's classical event. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for promotion and publicity write to us at info at hubnetwork.in thank you kubleshibon mitela